So in this video, we're going to talk about generalized set unions and intersections, which are defined as the following. So if we have the union of a bunch of sets, let's say we have a counter here, I starting at 1 and going up to N, and we want to find the union of a bunch of sets together. This is the way we write it. So this means A1 union, A2 union, A3 all the way up to a n. So we're finding the union of all n of those sets. We also have the generalized intersection of sets. So if they're defined by subscripts, we have a1 intersect a2, intersect a3, intersect all the way up to a n. So it's the intersection of all of those sets. So just to understand where we're coming from with this given set here, we have a sub i is equal to the set 0 and i, where i is a positive integer. So this means things like a2 is the set 0, 2. Okay, so let's just look at a couple examples. Let's say we want the union. Let's say i going from 1 to 5 of a i in this case. Well, that means we're joining a1 a2, A3, A4, and A5, which means we have the set 0, 1, union, 0, 2, union, and all the way up to 0, 5. Now, by looking at those and looking at the patterns, it's easy to see that the union of all of those is going to be the numbers 0 through 5. Okay, so how about the intersection of those? And I'm going to say I going from 1 to 5 as well. Well, that's going to be the same thing except intersection symbols in between them. So what we have to do is look to see if there's any element common to all of those sets. As it turns out, it sure is. There is one element common to all the sets, and that is the number zero. So the intersection of all of those is the singleton set with zero in the middle. So one thing we could talk about is going infinite. What if we wanted the infinite intersection of all of those sets? Well, as you can see, every set that's listed is going to contain a zero. So that means that the intersection is just going to be zero. And the union i starting at 1 and going to n would be, well, let's look at those. So up here, I'm going to highlight that for you. Up here, we have the sets 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, et cetera. So we're going to end up with the set of numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and onward and onward and onward and never ending, which actually is your set of non-negative integers. So there's many ways to describe that generalized inter or generalized union. So there's a little bit about generalized unions and intersections. Hopefully that makes sense and stay tuned for more videos.